Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. The gods have sent us a witcher. A word, if you will, Master. What do you want? We've been looking for someone like you. A witcher? Someone to protect our expedition. What kind of expedition are we talking about? We have irrefutable evidence that Ebde Henna's laboratory is located in Loch Muin. We need an armed man to protect us from the filth in the sewers. They're infested with monsters. The details you'll get from our employer. A sorceress. Tell you what, I'll catch up to you when I'm ready to go. Where will I find you? We're off to the Crypt of Mages. It's beneath that tower. Stand ready. He killed Vanamar. And many other mages. I know who he is, Cynthia. In the same city as Philippa, and you didn't even bother to change your name. That takes balls. Philippa's out of the picture. She's been arrested. And I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Grave error. I'll make you a deal. Why are you here? We suspect Dare Henna's laboratory may contain documents and books that could be useful to the Imperial Academy of Science. That wasn't even close to funny. You're lying. We don't know what's inside. Dare Henna was a talented man, but also an eccentric. What do you hope to find? That's confidential. I cannot tell you. Regardless, we need your help. The laboratory lies beneath the Redanian camp which we cannot penetrate above ground. We want to get there through the sewers, but can't manage it without a capable swordsman. Any deals we make will not be on your terms. Hear me out. So be it. Witcher, help me complete my mission. Help me open Dare Henna's laboratory. What'll you give me? I've read the intelligence reports. I know your past. 
There are things in there, important things you don't remember. I could force you to tell me. I don't think so. Will you torture me? We both know you couldn't. Fine. I'll help you open the laboratory. In exchange, I'll tell you all I can. Do we have a deal? Yeah. One more thing. Ugh. Ugh. We made a deal. I'm even faster with my sword. No tricks. Are we likely to encounter drowners? Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. I'm finding those imbeciles increasingly irritating. Ghouls? No, just blood fiends. Watch yourself now. fought in a while. I find it a nice break from all that intelligence work. I'm impressed. I've kept my end of the bargain. I hope you'll keep yours. Be sure of it. Damn it!
have no rats to run around sewers. What we're looking for, anyway? Some graves, I heard. Graves? So maybe there is something in this forest. Shut your traps. Want the sergeant to hear? We've been deep shite. But it is a good idea. We've got company. Redanian bastards. The entrance must be somewhere here. If our experts are to be trusted. Der Hannah dabbled in illusions, among other things. He also experimented heavily with golems. Golems with the power of speech, supposedly. They knew nothing of poetry, but... Will you two shut up? Yes, it's an illusion. I found a weak spot. Stand back! Later. Later and lawn. Lisa and lawn. Later, dear! At times I'm caught. You can get my kind of feet. Though I have no needles, they say I am piercing. What am I? Careful with the answer. It could be a trap. Typical of dear Hannah. He was a genius with a penchant for mischievous jokes, like a child. So a couple of adults, purported experts, should have no problem solving this. Indeed, it's trivial. The answer is pain. Incorrect. No! Impossible! So many years of research together. Why did we ever embark on this? Let's get this over with quickly. I'm seen to fly, described as hard. I can be your currency and heal all wounds, but not many things can stand my test. Going rather well so far. Not for everybody. Someone's been here recently. Too bad about Gaspar. Well, well! The competition's here! Kill them! Another guardian. Later, Lisa and Lord. Later, dear. It's reacting to my spell.
wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault, its riches untold. Did I hear someone complain about the riddles being too easy? Let's think this through. There are nine alcoves, a fresco in each. That's three groups of three frescoes. The riddle mentions three guides above the travelers. We must examine the frescoes, seek answers there. Mm. I'll advise you about the riddle, but I will not take part in disarming the device. I've got a bad feeling about this. What do you think of the first verse? I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. Watch more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged. And as an accomplished alchemist, Dehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter an essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. You think of the second verse. To my mind, it speaks of the white rose, symbol of the order of the flaming rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the silver lady and white rose are one and the same. I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the feminine element. The water remains largely unknown in the south, so the white rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Nausicaa Brigade, which has the Death's Head as its symbol. The brigade's name is female, and they say death follows a unit. So the Silver Lady could very well be Nausicaa or the Death's Head. Someone remind me how the line as I re I think it's the full moon. Allow me. It should be the dragon constellation. I shall take that one. I think it's the full moon. Allow me. What do you say to the third verse? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. The mine entrance in the mountainside. That seems logical. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. Our expedition has grown thin. 
Such a shame. I actually found those two amusing. Shut up. Of course, my lady. A golem? It is. I don't. Geralt. Actually, so my. Master. The man. Do you remember your creep? Oh, I dare. Dear Hanna must have been an exceptional man. Can you tell me about him? I guard everything that belonged to the Master, including his privacy, which he valued highly. I can tell you nothing. I have other questions. Powerful magic created you. Der Hanna was a true master. He is still, since his mastery survives. As a conscious being, you must be lonely here. You are wrong. The pain of the world, melancholy, lies within the domain of emotions and feelings. My thoughts are governed by pure logic, restricted by my program. But you can learn. They say that a penchant for philosophy can only come from curiosity. In my case, it comes from the will of the Master, who liked to speak with me. And do you feel a need to discuss? I feel nothing. I just have that need. I have other questions. So you're aware you're an automaton? Do we really know who we are? Where we came from? And where we are headed? Is human life Predictable in that the cycle of birth and death ensnares it better than mine. When a human is born, he is obedient to his parents. Later, he listens to tutors, masters, corporals. Finally, he succumbs to the will of death. And to think that Adelbert questioned Der Hanna's mastery. I have a... So you are aware... Do is what? And... Who, if anyone, is allowed to pass? Dear Hannah, but he is dead. Also guests may pass, but I stop intruders. Tell me more. Who's a guest and who's an intruder? Is it not obvious? A guest keeps his distance, or knows the name word. An intruder is anyone who enters too far, attacks me, or otherwise interferes with my being. Has anyone tried to enter before? I recall no intruders. I do, however, remember guests who left after being warned. When was that? What did you discuss? I am a machine. My memory is limited. You are far more self-aware than a typical golem. Can you make sovereign decisions? The Master made me the way I am, because long discussions were to his liking. I can make decisions, within my program, of course. So you decide who's a guest and who's an intruder? Who else would? Guests chat innocuously, exerting no pressure. All others are intruders. I have other questions. Powerful magic create. He is still. Can we discuss the program that controls your behavior? Of course not. I have. Do you remember? Of course. I dare end. His word, Empire. I ask you for the name word which brought you to life and which can deactivate you. Do that, and I shall consider you an intruder. I have other questions. Alright, I think I know how to get past this thing without a fight.
burglar witchers, philosopher golems, an expedition replete with fascinating discoveries. And terrible disappointments. Shut up, Adelbear. And you, witcher, deal with that golem. We know you exist by the will of your master, thanks to the name word he gave you. That is true. You were created to discern intruders from guests. You are to stop the former and greet the latter. Intruders must be stopped. Are you aware that intruders may seek to deceive you? I have stone fists to defend myself against those armed with swords. I have my iron logic to defend against those armed with words. But intruders could include sorcerers who alter reality. They could be illusionists or mere liars. What then is certain? My existence is certain, as is my master's will. Since only you and the Master's legacy exist for certain, everything else is doubtful. A malicious intruder could cloud your senses. I am the Guardian. The Master prepared me for that. He couldn't foresee everything, so he gave you a mind to compensate. You're much more conscious and intelligent than a Guardian needs to be. Your Master says, greet guests and stop intruders. That is certain, but everything else can be a lie. And you cannot allow yourself to attack guests. That would be against your master's will. Guests must be greeted, and intruders must be stopped. This is Tehenna's will. Are you a guest or an intruder? Doesn't matter what I answer. Your senses deceive you. You can trust only your mind. You can't assume I'm a guest, because I may be an intruder. You can't assume I'm an intruder because I may be a guest. This is a contradiction, a paradox. The law of excluded middle. We've done it. We've penetrated their Hennis laboratory. Let's have a look. This is better than I'd hoped. A great success for Nilfgaard, this mission. Maybe you'll get that promotion. some bacteria strains. Can you feel that? My medallion's vibrating. Another masking illusion. I'll try to disperse it. Later. Later and lawn. Lisa and lawn. Later, dear! ...document about the friends. The device. What is it? You've done your job. You'll be paid and... Paid like the scholars were? They died once they were no longer useful. They were never useful, but Cynthia insisted. Fortunately, they were so kind as to remove themselves without my help. I'm not about to be that kind. Adelbear, you know what you're to look for. Yes, ma'am. It's a prototype megascope. I didn't know it had survived. What's it do? The artifact detects an emotional bond with a person. Its user need only focus on that person and the device will establish a connection. Great tool for a spy. Yes. Time you fulfilled your end of the bargain. What do you know about my past? You were a rider of the Wild Hunt. I read the reports. Don't the Nilf Guardians have anything better to do than write reports about witchers? Not about witchers. About you. You are the sole person to have been a member of the host, and survived. You 
you've fulfilled your end of the bargain. As have you. Take your coin and leave. I'll take the coin, and the artifact. That is not what we agreed. Because I didn't know you'd find anything this interesting. And now you know too much. Don't force me to deal with this my way. Calm down, both of you. Everyone has received their due. Their due? Huh. <laughs> As I see it, Nilfgaard feels its due more and more. So our mutant is also a patriot. Back away. Life is a string of choices. And you have just chosen suicide. Tell me again. I find it arousing. Well, Geralt and I went to Vergen, where my dear friend immediately got into all sorts of trouble. Kiss me here. Good. And since it's widely known you can't abandon a friend in need, I helped him. Now here. Not, not, not there. There. Good. Ah, oh, the adventures we had. We presided over Prince Dennis' trial. Really? Then Geralt had to fight his way through a mist of wraiths. And you? I had another mission, just as important. But you can't expect me to tell you everything now. I have a ballad to compose about it. Now kiss me here. Really put your lips into it. Oh, yeah. We've been following the Witcher for several days. I know now he's fully on Yorveth's side. Should I terminate them? Constable Natalis thinks it unnecessary. Your orders are to cross the Yoruga with your men. Why? Natalis suspects the Emperor has amassed large forces on the southern bank, near the border. Verify this. Yes, sir. I made sure we'd have a trustworthy cook while in Loch Muin. I'll not allow anyone to slip poison into your goblet here. I cannot sit here and eat in peace while Philippa rots in a dungeon. Regardless of Philippa's whereabouts and predicament, you must behave as befits a queen. Does that rule out caring for my friends? Philippa will manage. And even should she fail, I'm sure her final wish would be that we follow through with the plan. So eat. You must be at full strength during the summit. A very important task awaits you. I guess that does it.